Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to Construction Fun. Uh, today we're going to learn about uh, how to drive a forklift. Um, but we're going to learn basically by the process of elimination. Because in these videos, you don't really want to uh, do what these guys are doing. Like on any job site, uh, if a tool can be used as a hammer, eventually it will be used as a hammer. And that includes the forklift. Um, here you can see they've used, they're just deciding to use this thing as some kind of a battering ram to take this wall down. Uh, but they don't really have the foresight uh, to see what actually happens if you do take the wall down. Uh, will the forklift stop? Will, or will it just uh, continue on down into a pit of despair? Either way, I can assure you that OSHA will be disapproving of this. And there he goes! Bye-bye! Into the pit of despair. Warehouse workers are a different breed, man. Um, I mean, I guess you give a guy a forklift and a pallet jack and lock him in a room long enough, uh, he's gonna find creative ways to get around on that thing, or those things. Um, I've never seen this before, but uh, it's pretty interesting, I gotta say. I wonder how fast you can get that thing going. And um, here's a guy that probably shouldn't have came to work today. I mean, clearly he's had some uh, accidents, and um, yeah, he shouldn't be here. This guy doesn't seem to realize that when you lift something with these gigantic forks, uh, the backrest on the mast there is going to go up and uh, it's going to catch on things and which it does here. Oh man, that just knocked this guy into another dimension. He is in the shadow realm. People at warehouses will always find creative ways to unload trucks. Um, this looks like a good idea, except um, someone needs to coordinate this, I think, because um, this guy is just backing away like, nope, not my problem. And meanwhile, the forklift on the right here, his wheels are lifting up, and he can feel it. He knows that he's in trouble, and at, the, at one point, he's going to be like, you know what, I'm out of here. I'm just gonna back away and let you deal with it. And that moment is right now. Ba doing And yeah, didn't go well. Someone is gonna be in a little bit of trouble for this one. Now I kind of understand why Amazon wants to replace all its forklifts with robots. Oh, that's an expensive mistake right there. Sleeping on the job is never a good idea, but if you're wondering why your packages keep arriving damaged, you can blame it on this guy. Uh, luckily he made it out safely. And uh, don't worry, night shift will sort it out. All right, Tyler, first time driving a forklift. I want you to pick up this container right over here and put it over there. You got it? Uh, what could go wrong? One less and he's ready to go. Be careful of the customer's truck over here, okay? In the theater, they would call that foreshadowing, or dramatic irony. Will, to your right? To your right? No, Tyler, to your right! Brakes! Whoops. Every county fair has that one ride that is so boring that none of the kids want to go on it. In this case, the ride is called OSHA Hell. If you are unlucky enough to die driving a forklift, uh, OSHA has made a deal with the devil where you will spend eternity doing figure eights around barrels forever and ever and ever. Well, in actuality, uh, this is what forklift training really looks like. Uh, if you are going out to get your forklift ticket, you are probably gonna spend the good portion of an afternoon doing something, something similar to this. Uh, it's not until you actually get out on the job site uh, that you get to uh, do some real lifting like uh, we see in this next video.
Nailed it! This is also very entertaining. Um, I mean, this wouldn't fly on any of my job sites I've been on. Um, but to each his own, right? One of the hardest missions on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is driving this yellow forklift. Uh, clearly there's some miscommunication between players here, um, because the result is a whole bunch of spilled beer. And I don't know who's really to blame for this one, but man, these two guys, or the, everyone around here, is going to spend the rest of their day in safety meetings and reading JSAs and filling out forms, and it's just not fun for anyone involved in this situation. So if you're going to be driving a forklift, man, uh, watch your surroundings and have good communication, because uh, nobody wants to waste this much beer. Teamwork makes the dream work, man, and uh, while doing things like this, you may get fired, and it's very possibly uh, you will get injured as well. Um, oh, but where there's pain, there's also often laughter, so I leave you with this last video and bid you a wonderful day. Enjoy, <laughs> see you next time.